Hello, and welcome to this short overview of Codeware's Inspect software. Inspect is a mechanical integrity software that assists in inspection scheduling and managing your inspection data. In this video, I will be covering the following topics. Working with existing compressed files, cost savings with equipment re-rates, and preparation and maintaining compliance documentation. Let's get started. Here we can see the inspect modeling screen. This is where users can model entire vessels or portions of the vessel. For example, if you are only interested in a particular nozzle, you can simply model that nozzle with its parent component. I'm going to load in a file that was created in Codeware's compressed program. So I'm going to come up to the file menu and select open. This is the vessel that I'll be using for this demonstration. Please note that you can save and spec files as compressed files. This is a benefit as a fabricator who uses compress can provide the owner with the exact model. Alternatively, the owner operator can also provide the fabricator with the original design file when it comes time to replace the vessel. Let's set up a quick inspection for this piece of equipment. I'm going to come up to the post construction menu and select new maintenance inspection. For my inspection date, I'm going to choose an earlier date. And we're going to click next. Any of this information can be filled out at a later time. I'm going to click OK here to use these settings as the target design conditions for our projected retirement date calculation. This is our inspection dialog. Inspect can help you set up condition monitoring locations or CMLs on the vessel for you. If we go up to the edit menu, we can allow Inspect to automatically populate the CMLs. So select this option, and the Preferences dialog will appear. Now I'm going to choose the default settings here, so I'm going to click Populate. And as you can see, we have our inspection grid set up. If you have the original thickness readings, you can enter them in here, or you can copy and paste them from a spreadsheet. For this inspection, however, I'm going to assume nominal thickness for all the CMLs. So an easy way to do this is to come back up to the edit menu and select the option set CML thickness to parent nominal. And as you can see all the points on our grid have been set to 3 eighths of an inch. I'm going to click OK here. And as you can see on the model, the CMLs are now represented on it. We represent them as these black dots, so you know exactly where these inspection points are on your model. Let's set up a second inspection quickly. Instead of going back to the post construction menu, I'm going to select the maintenance inspection button right here in the top left hand corner. So from here, what I'm going to do is come up to the new menu and select New Maintenance Inspection. I'm going to click Yes to copy all the CML locations from the current inspection. And we're going to use a later date for this next inspection. So as you can see here, we have an inspection done in 2008 and one in 2013. For this inspection, I'm going to copy existing points from an Excel spreadsheet. So I'll drag my Excel spreadsheet over. I'm 
I'm going to highlight my thickness readings and copy them. And I'm going to paste them into the inspection grid, like so. Now that we have two inspections set up, let's see what we can do with this information. The primary goal here is to determine how much remaining life there is on this vessel. So under the display, what we're going to do is click on the Calcs tab right here. Now to determine the remaining life, we'll need to determine the required thickness. Inspect will determine the required thickness for you at each one of the CML locations. So we'll click on Calculate. Another key point here is Inspect automatically considers the joint efficiency adjustment for you per API 7.4.5. This is a benefit for you as you may find out you have more remaining life than originally calculated. So based on our numbers, let's see how much remaining life we have on this vessel. So I'll click on the remaining life option. And as you can see, our governing point has 1.43 years remaining. In this example, I set up the inspection so that I would have a remaining life of less than five years. One feature Inspect has is the ability for the user to adjust the operating conditions used in the calculations based on the measured operating conditions. This in turn results in significant savings when the equipment's life is extended and unnecessary shutdowns are avoided. Now let's take a look and see what design conditions were used to the calculations. So we're going to come back under the display and click on the input tab and we're going to select the equipment details. Under the UG116 required markings, you can see here what has been used for the calculations. So for example, we've been using the calculated chamber MAWP for the internal pressure. Let's change this and use the design pressure. Now I'm going to come back up to my calcs tab and we're going to recalculate the required thickness to determine the new remaining life. So I'll click on the remaining life, and as you can see, our governing point now has over 15 years of remaining life. This option can also be used to see how vessels will behave at higher pressures or even lower pressures as well. Some of the other information we can check here is the corrosion rates. So if I click on the corrosion tab, you can see here the long-term and the short-term corrosion rates have been calculated for you. One of the main objectives when dealing with pressurized equipment is being in compliance with your local jurisdiction. One of the requirements is to provide and maintain supporting documentation for your inspections. Let's run the calculation report and go over this. So I'm going to come up to the action menu and select perform code calculations. This is the output report. Inspect will prepare your inspection report along with a full ASME compliance report. So at the top of this report, we have summaries. These are handed reports for your upper management when they're reviewing the vessel. We also have our inspection and scheduling report. And below are all the supporting detail calculations for the individual components on the vessel. Let's take a quick look at the inspection report. Inspect can also add images to this report. For example, I added a defect from this vessel. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where we can see the remaining life calculations. As well as our scheduling intervals for our thickness, internal, and external inspections. As well as the projected retirement date of this vessel. I would like to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a demonstration, please email sales at codeware.com or call 941-927-1000.
2670.